So why why do you think women cover? And by the way, this is not only in Islam. I think in many faiths they cover. For example, in the Catholics, the nuns cover. Yes, from head to toe. In Islam, the women cover. Yes, and these are believing women. I know head stars. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe it is too much of a focus on that. For yeah. So don't. What I'm saying is like, don't make that as a means for you to stop you learning about Islam, because the reason Muslim women cover is first and foremost it is what that God has uh, told them to do, and See, that's, yeah, that's the but that's not that's not the only thing. The other thing is it makes them it, it is like an identity for them yeah. that they are believing women, and this is how you how you distinguish them. Now imagine if there is a woman who is not dressed appropriately and she's walking by a building site, construction site, and there are men working there, and they whistle her and they make some nasty remarks. What is she gonna do? She's just going to walk by, isn't it? Now they see a nun walking past, or a Muslim woman covered from head to toe. Trust me, the same, the same men, when they look at them, they will show them respect. Why do you think is that? In both cases, it can be the same woman, you know? It can be the exact same woman going once without being covered, going again with being covered. And in both cases, she's treated differently. I just don't see it disrespectful to appreciate a beautiful woman. So, you know, when I was talking to one of the other uh, men who was saying, you really don't want men to be looking at women, basically, walking down the street. And I said, but why? I mean, if a woman, she's got a dress on or a skirt, she's yeah. got skin exposed, you know, and it's summertime, and she looks beautiful. Can't yeah. we appreciate her? You know, when you woke up, when you woke up this morning, and you applied your makeup and your beautiful dress, and you did your hair, what was the first thing on your mind? Are you doing it for yourself, or are you doing it for the society? Doing it. So I would say doing it for myself, but because we are social beings. Let's be real. Come on. I mean, let's be real. No, honestly, I would say that. Are there any other women here? I've given it a lot of thought about about makeup and the thing yeah. is when you look at ancient man they have always yeah. decorated their bodies. I used to think it was really shallow. No no I'm not saying bothered about no. the way you I, look I'm not I'm not saying you're 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 right we are social animals you're right. Yeah. What what's your name by the way? Hazel. Hazel yeah. I'm Hashim. Look Hazel if you were there in the Victorian era you would dress like a Victorian. Why? It is not because you wanted to dress like a Victorian. It is what the fashion dictates at that time. Yeah we and guess who, who has always been the leaders in fashion? What are you going to say, religious? No. Is it men or women? Who are the Gucci's? Who are the Versace's? Who, who rules all these empires, the, the fashion empires? Even today, it has always been men. The men have been dictating to you since ages without even knowing what to wear and what not to wear. What, what kind of makeup to apply? What kind of hair to fashion yourself with? What kind of dress to wear? They have been dictating to you since time immemorial. Okay. Cool. You see what I mean? But why is that an answer? Now I'll tell you why you dress like that. It is not for yourself. It is not even for the people around. It is for those, those fashion gurus. They wanted to dictate how you should dress. Cool. Even though those heels, which many women wear, you're not wearing that, alhamdulillah. Many women wear them and they all know that it is so uncomfortable that many of them, by the evening, they've already got it in their hands. You know why? Because that's not natural. No. But why would that be an argument for women then? No, no, I'm just telling you the reality of society. If you don't want to do it for God, you'll do it for men. Okay. See what I mean? Yeah. So then shouldn't we be thinking that women should dress for themselves rather than, oh, don't dress for men, so dress for God instead? No, look, I'm, God is not saying to dress for him. God is telling you what is good for you. What is good for you and for, the, for your family and for the environment and everything. You know, look, yeah. God is also, is, by God the way, me it's good for me to yeah, God has also told the men to lower the gaze and it's to lower the gaze, oh. not to look at something which is, which is harmful or, or, or something which, which harms you, you know, spiritually. And God has also told the women to lower the gaze. In both cases, it's an equal responsibility.